Last time on the Guild of Brockhart, our adventurers returned the cult followers back to Hammerfell, and they enjoyed a celebratory concert in the morning. Soon after, they set off towards Ashbourne. They set up camp after a day's travel, and we join them now as Donnie is pulling a road guard off of his horse during his watch. Uh, and that's that's my little, little thing that I end off with. Uh, all right, roll initiative. Uh, as uh, as he they're dismounting their horses, they're like um, I mean, Big Bert's a half orc. Oh, what? Big Bert is a half orc, uh, barbarian. So he's about as big as you. Oh, and why would he want to bother a few trailers to, you know, attack? Because you're not paying your tax. A uh, wrongful tax as I get ready to unleash my blow. Uh, um, what? What? Wait, okay, there we go. You rolled a five? Yep. Oh, wow. And uh, can you add your health to here? Did I recover any health during my rest? Um, three quarters worth of your health? I'd say. I mean, it's not a long rest. You guys are doing, like, short rests. Okay, how do you say? Equals three quarters plus 150. Wait, three quarters of 150? Yes. Uh, what's a 75? 120? Okay. 50-50-50. Yeah, just do 120. Okay. Darn. Math doesn't want to work right now. Equals 70. Hmm. All right, hold on. Get rid of the equal sign. Are you having issues over there? 73 plus... Okay, hold on. No, I'm not. One, one twenty three. One twenty three. I mean. Okay. Okay. On this one, you just type the first one, and then you click it again. Type plus the next number. Then look at it here twice. All right. You can sit in a chair, but you need to move it away um, from the cord. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's it's your this. turn first. Uh, they're okay. actually like this. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Use all my actions. I'm going to actually do this right for once. I'm going to swing twice at this guy in front of me. All right. Okay. So plus seven to both of those. Take about 14 hits. The 14 does hit, yes. And I'm swinging with my ultra greatsword and a kite shield. So that would be a D12, right? Plus strength. Yep. Five damage on the one directly in front of me, and then I double attack, use my dual attack to swing with my buckler, strike at him. A 15. That one will hit. Four. Was it a D6 damage for a shield strike? Uh, for the buckler, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll go with D6. Well, it's a kite, but it's a shield all the same, so D6. Oh, yeah, it's a kite shield, then, yeah. You okay? Seven damage on top of that. Eight plus seven. So one directly in front of me. I say... I say, uh, well, I, I don't say anything. I just get ready for what comes next. 
All right. Um, so the guy in front of you. No, this guy. He comes up next to you. Uh, he'll do a double slash attack. RD20. Eh, out of type. That actually oh. missed. It. That too. Missed. All right. Next person does the same. Oh yeah, you guys have crazy high XP because of the man bear, right? Very high AC, not XP. Oh, right, AC, yeah. All right, that one hits. Hmm. For a 21 damage. Oh, quite the steadfast blow. Okay. <laughs> uh, that'll be your turn. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. All in the person in front of you? Yep. Uh, four plus seven and eight plus seven. Eight, nine, ten. Was a 15 hit? Yeah, 15 hits. Oh, wait. I've been forgetting to add my uh, damage modifier. So it's the 12 plus 6. 12 damage to the one in front of me. <laughs> and then I ready to strike with my kite shield. Assume I miss. Yep. Do I have time to defensive posture? Uh, sure. And I do that. I get ready for what comes next. Okay. Uh, yeah, the guy in front of you is doing the same attack as last time. They both hit. All right. Is that correct? Uh, yes, it is. Quite so. I forgot the 12 in there. So a 16 plus a 6 is 22 plus 6 more is 28 damage. It's starting to become mildly concerning. But I'm going to carry on like it's not. All right, it's the other guy's turn. Oh, and... shit. thought that was what? both of them. <laughs> no, that was just one guy. Oh boy. Uh, and they both miss, right? 18 misses. Yep, that misses. All right, you're All right. up. I'm going to swing at the guy directly in front of me again. I told you, do you have your ear stuff? Probably in the bathroom somewhere. Uh, they both hit. Two D twelve plus one. Oh. Sixteen damage. To the one directly in front of me. Well, look for the stuff. All right. And then, oh, if he's still standing, I'll kite shield strike him. Yeah, he's still standing. Don't look for your ear stuff. A seven, and then defensive posture if possible. The seven misses, and I'll allow it. All right. Uh, then it's uh, it's this guy's turn. He's going for a double slash, as per usual, and they both miss. And the other guy's taking a hit, and he's like, "Oh, you're, you're gonna get it." And well, he hits. Oh, Oof. I mean, he's gonna find it. Oof. I can help her when she gets home. Oh, that's supposed to be a 10, not a 12. Hold on. Oh. When oh, for 5 damage. I take 5 damage during this turn? Yep. 
right. And, and then you're up. I'm going to swing at him twice again. You do so, and you miss both times. And Kite Shield Strike. Quite yeah, elusive. Yeah, Defensive posture. I'll allow it. All right. It's back to this guy's turn. Double slash attack. Uh, no luck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, then it'll be this guy's turn right here. And yep. he hits. Good question. Daddy. Uh -huh, that's just lucky. That's good question. Daddy. Daddy. Four, uh, 15 damage. Oof. Probably becoming a little bit more concerning, but I'm not worried yet. All right, you're up. I try, I try to, uh, you know, feign hubris and chuckle at that, and I strike again. Okay. The one... Oh, hold on. I had an extra R in there. Yeah. A 17 and a 19. They both hit. Fourteen and nine, so twenty-three damage. He still stands. I kite shield strike him. You end up taking that guy out. Oh, I thought I had a kite shield strike him. No, I defensive posture. All right. And I, I just say, you know, get out of there. You see, uh, I'm not just somebody to tax. He's playing, period. You might want to take this proposition a little bit more seriously. You don't look in there. Not just one of your sheep, I say at the end of my turn. Yes. All right. Uh, at the beginning of this guy's turn. Uh, you see him let out what looks like a bird out of his hand, and it flies up in the air. I tried to tomahawk it. It's not your turn. Damn it. Um, and, and it starts to it, it starts to lift up. Um, then he goes to attack you. Uh, the one hits. The twenty hits, right? Yep. Oh, I haven't been calling out my rolls. My bad. A plus eleven damage. Yeah, I know. Okay. Did the bird get already? Did the bird already get too far away to throw something at? No, you can throw it. Okay, we're gonna try and throw a tomahawk at the bird. That's plus strength for the tomahawk, right? Yes. A fifteen at the bird. You miss. Double swing. I try to throw another. At the bird? Yep. Okay. Fif Thirteen. You miss. Both. They both miss. Yep. And I defensive posture. All right. All right. Oh, that was fair. All right, it's his turn. Uh, a eight and a fifteen. Both of them miss you. They both miss, yep. Then it'll be your turn. Is the bird out of range by now? Now it would be yes. Uh, I try to shout as loud as possible <laughs> next to my camp 
Say, <laughs> you are quite troublesome. Hoping it wakes somebody up. And I swing at the guy. All right. That's uh, not a good roll. They're both 11 and below. Because mommy is cousin Mark. Uh, yeah, they both miss. And that one hits. The kite rolls 15. So, yeah, the 11 and the 4 miss, and then the 15 hits. Mara got two. Me. Six. Five. Russia. 11 damage on this fellow. And I do posture. And you pass. All right, you do. Oh, well, and yeah. Holland. Okay, you do that. All those kind of things. Anybody hear me? Say what? Do I notice any uh, reaction to my shout? No, you're you're kind of focused. You, you kind of like peek, try to peek over, but your companions are like behind you and your view. All right. Um, he tries to attack Is you he again. Trying to actually like wake us up or no? They both miss. Yeah, two eighteens both miss. My I'm understanding is he's he yelling loud enough, so it might disturb your sleep. Yeah, I didn't want to make everybody know that I wasn't, you know, alone. Oh. Trying to conceal our numbers here. But I'm also trying to wake you guys up, because I know he just sent out a messenger bird. Or at least that's what I believe he just did. Okay, I swing twice at him again. You do so? Ooh. A 13 and a 12 both miss. Then I strike at him with a shield. The 15 hits. <laughs> For 6 damage. And then I defensive posture. All right, um, it's his turn. He's going to try to double swipe you. And the 13 and the 8 both miss. Uh, just then you hear a lot of, like, footsteps. You believe them to be horses rushing at you. Shit, they wake up a lot faster than my friends do. <laughs> I haven't I'm been told friend. whether or not I actually wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I was a bird better at waking people up than me yelling at the top of my lungs. Wait, okay. Um, Gnome Face, what'd you say? I said I haven't been told on whether or not I actually wake up, just that I stir slightly. Uh, Check your whisper. And oh, I Donnie, on that. well, there's your problem. Donnie, there, you have an, uh, an action as they're getting closer. Uh, screw it. I'm just going to risk the attack of opportunity and go back and make sure everybody actually wakes up this time. Like, Jesus, guys, get up. Actually, I turn my no back on the guy. Two, two whispers. Oh, I, I don't see it. No, I sent two whispers on Gnome Face. Oh. Therefore, you wouldn't it. see it. Um, okay, so you leave to go wake them up? Yep. This is more important than taking down this one goon. Um, okay. So as they're over there waking them up, uh, and Gnome Face choose and wakes up, which d you could have done by talking. Or, like, acting. But at this point, it's like too late. So in the time it takes Donnie to go over there and to realize you're awake or whatever, you see a whole bunch of people on horses come by and pick up the two guys who were fighting. Uh Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of people came looking for taxes. I didn't want to pay up. We got to go. Whoa, what kind of taxes? Uh, traveling without getting killed taxes. Oh. 
Okay. And uh, the as you guys are discussing, they they kind of just sweep through and are gone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure their boss is going to be looking for a a payday on this road, at least pay back. So yeah, you got that look forward to if they haven't found us already. Ah, that sucked. I say as I'm panting and wheezing. Are you dying? Uh, uh, I'd be lying if I said just not just about, but yeah, not just about. That makes no sense. <laughs> um, DM meta question. Yes. Uh, where Owen oh, character go? Um. Do we have time to do anything, or are we just, you know, surrounded and about to get fucked in the butthole? No, they're gone. They came they're down gone? the road, they picked up the two people that Donnie was fighting, and they bounced. They, oh. they, they kind of did like a, I don't want to say hit run, but like, they, they kind of like drove by. His buddy picked one of them up, threw him up to someone on a horse, and then he jumped on the back of a different horse. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, I, I look at the doofus, seeing that the guys are gone, and I go, Oh, man, you can't even handle one watch. What was I supposed to do? Just give them money? Throw my belly up and give them what they want? Oh, but you didn't have to wake me up. I snark at him. <laughs> and then I wake up Demi, and just softly, and I, I shout over to Willow, and I go, Donnie got us in trouble, I'll get trouble again. We gotta go. Uh, yeah, what's new? Let's carry on, guys. Did you even look for your ear stuff? Alright, um... Look in your drawer. It's not there either. I, I need to take a break. Uh, at least... Hello, all. I unfortunately have to take my dog out on a walk for a little bit. While I am gone, Donnie and Gnomeface have a conversation with some great insight on where this campaign started, and also about the future campaigns to come to this channel. I encourage you to stick around and listen to see where we came from and to get to know them a little bit better. Otherwise, skip ahead 15 minutes to when I return. Let's go to bathroom, and I also have to take the dog out. Okay. Um, Do you, boo -boo. So that'll be like 10, 15. Uh, okay, just be clear. I can go all night. So and then I I'll cannot. Ready. I got done with a 10-hour shift today, so. Do you work in the morning? No, I don't work the weekends anymore, but I did work an hour today. Okay. Well, it'll be 15 minutes till I'm back. And also, just throwing this out there, Donnie, you never asked what they wanted. They wanted taxes. Yeah, they could have been asking for 20 bucks. That's true. I didn't like the idea. They, they asked for taxes, and you're like, instead of being like, well, how much are you looking for? And Oh, no, that's too much. You're like, no, I'm going to sli slice you. Just like someone's like, hey, get to the, don't push your way up to the front of the line, and you're like, I'm going to punch you in the face. Well, you guys are always telling me what I need to do to make more money. I'm trying not to lose money here. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there, that you, you never questioned on how much they were looking for. I'm being frugal. Um, okay. But yeah, so I'll chat, pay attention to the chat, or, yeah, talk amongst yourself, pay attention to the chat, Killer Joy is still here, <laughs> hanging out, um, and I'm gonna, run, I'm gonna run an ad and be back in, like, 10, 15. Okay. <laughs> Man, like, I'm gonna give anybody my money. I'm practically broke by the standards that we're playing at. This is true. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you are pretty broke, but you spend your money on a lot of shit, too. My my build pretty much requires gear, so yeah. I don't do magic. I'm all about what I've got in my hands. As you could clearly tell when I had nothing in my hands against those three villagers. <laughs> yep. Got your ass whooped by peasants. <laughs> I, I need weapons, and I'm willing to shell out for those weapons. Consequently, I'm not willing to shell out for a lot else because I'm always broke.
It's kind of weird. You don't really think of that when you think of like warriors, like barbarians or fighters. Their class is so tied into their wallet. It's kind of like their mana pool, in a way. Yeah. But if you actually, it, it kind of depends on how you play, though, because casters, if you play a caster in some games, it's a hell of a lot more expensive to be a caster because you have to have spell components, you have to have buy spells, where a warrior can just buy a big-ass fucking sword. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Drusilla is kind of like a half ground because she's not like rich, but she's not doing bad on money either. So I guess that kind of makes sense. In none of our campaigns do we worry about things like spell components or anything like that. Like, we don't worry about that, so it doesn't really affect us at all. Yeah, that's true. If we if 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 in any of them a component was actually important, like I'd be broke if I had to have components for my spells with how much I use them. <laughs> I can only imagine how much some giant lizards would actually cost if they scaled up to you know how much a you know a hunk of metal might cost. Well, actually, my giant lizard is a pet that I raised. Okay, thank you very much. They I cost just fed him some alchemy components to make him huge. Does it cost anything to feed it? Keep it, you know. Yeah, I had, I had to hunt the. Uh, well, no, that doesn't cost anything. But I did have to hunt down the components and everything we used for the alchemy to make him bigger. Oh yeah. So I paid for him in a way. I need to find out what having a a fire and earth element enchantment on a sword actually does because so far, it's just been a very expensive sword. Um. The way our DM in this campaign runs it is he doesn't actually tell us what our stuff does. He just does it all on his side and lets us wonder. Yeah. So overall, you know, it could be doing a lot. That you just don't know. Yeah. Hmm? Maybe. You get 21. How, about, how about Earth, Fire, and Thunder? Maybe I got like a Thunder enchantment on my kite field. Okay. What? Earth, fire, and thunder. Maybe I get like a thunder enchantment on my kite shield. Well, I'd say stick with earth and fire, but you know, go for upgrading the enchantments more and more. Because right now you basically got like a, a basic enchantment kit going on, you know. Yeah. But if you get like level two fire or uh, upgrade your earth, maybe you can start like coating your blade in magma or some shit. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. You're gonna have but to try you gotta look like right now your enchantments are just you know nothing. Yeah, they're, they're basically just added damage. If if this were a, a modeled world, they would be cosmetic. Yeah, just well, no, it'd be like uh, that guy who has a little bit of fire at the tip of his blade, you know, just enough to where when he slashes it burns a little, but compared to the guy who, you know, his entire sword is on fire. Yeah. You know, honestly, looking at my character on paper, I'm actually ridiculously, like, I'm I'm almost overpowered, but I roll so badly. You do. You really do. But it's like, the same thing with my characters, too. Like, if I... My go-to combo, I can put out tons of damage. But I'm also trying to branch out and do a few more things, so. Yeah, I'm trying to just specialize in spank and tank, you know? Take a hit, give a hit. Make yeah. it count. Like, that's all I'm trying to do, so. It's, it's uh, you know, nothing flashy. Yeah, and I'm all, I'm pretty much all DPS with a, a slight ability to take a hit. Not a huge ability, but a slight ability to take a hit. But, like, if I use my rapier in the right way, with the right combinations, I can just put out heavy damage. Oh, don't I know it. Yeah. But well, that's also why I haven't been pulling my rapier out lately, is because I want to... I'm working on some utility spells and some other things. And I only pull my rapier out when I absolutely need to. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's, that's another thing that's going to cost me more money. <laughs> I, I'm kind of worried about that in the next village because I need to upgrade my sword. I need to make the enchantment better. So I'm going to be super broke if I actually go through with that. Mm -hmm. Well, I am learning to enchant, so you can just also wait. Yeah? Yeah, I have enchanting weapons. I was enchanting our weapons until you went off and bought your own. Oh, yeah? Maybe I'll wait. Hopefully that develops a little bit faster than my smithing. Well, it could develop alongside your smithing if we get a forge and, uh... In the... Guild house, you can smith it and I can enchant it and then we can sell it. Yeah, money is definitely uh, something we need to work on, so... That could be I something think... where we, we talk to the DM and maybe when we have... You know, a couple days in town for whatever reason, waiting on whatever. We can do something like that where Smith and Chant and then maybe have Willow and Demi work on selling our our gear since they are the probably higher charisma out of all of us. Yeah, probably better. The, uh, the mercantile skill set. Yeah, but that'll increase both of our skill sets to where I can enchant our gear better and you can Smith yourself some better gear. That would be something. If I could smith gear, you could enchant it, they could sell it, and we could profit. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we could pull it off. That would be pretty cool. I definitely need money. <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom and grab a drink, though. Uh, so, how are those East games going? Those YS games? It's not bad. I think I'm almost done with it. I'll probably beat it this weekend. I was looking them up because there was a big sale on PlayStation. They were all yeah. on sale. It sounds yeah, like they, they have like the first three. They're all a continuity, it looks like. They all have like a main character. That's what I was saying before. I think the main character of nine is the same character and I think it's I think it's um like uh fuck, what was the game series? There is a game series, Dragon Quest, that's what it is, Dragon Quest. If you look at Dragon Quest, like, 1, 3, and 7 are part of one series, 2, 5, and 8 are part of another series. I think YS is the same way, and the ones that are on sale are the ones that are part of Adel's series, because there's only three of them on sale, plus then you have nine. But there's nine games, ultimately, so I think it's... They're selling Adel's series, so you can catch up with what happened with Adel before YS. And then the other Y games, or East games, or whatever they're called, are a different series, but the same universe. I was almost about to get some of them, like, oh, I feel like I'm going to be missing out. And I stopped. But if it's going to be like that, like then maybe I might. Because I want some like plain old, like, plain Jane RPGs right now. I've been thinking about picking them up, too, myself, just to see what... Because, like, the hint at things that Adel has done in, y, in Monstrums, which is the one I have. And some of this stuff sounds kind of cool. And I wouldn't mind playing... Ah, sorry. I wouldn't mind playing an old-school, plain Jane RPG for a little bit. Like, I'm playing an RPG right now. I just bought, like, some RPG. It's... Not a lot of people play it. You can't even find guides for it online for the most part. I just bought one called um, Metal Max Xeno. This is you, you're a guy riding around on a tank in a desert, blowing up other monsters. And it's just like you customize your tank. It's kind of like somebody like wanted to make a game like Armored Core where you customize a mech. Uh -huh. But they gave up partway through and decided, you know what, I'm just going to make an RPG. It almost feels like that, which is kind of like, kind of what I want right now. I don't want to have to think too hard about a game, but I do like those, the the thought of, you know, having more exciting mechanics. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if all the East games are like the one I'm playing now, or if this one is, you know, different because it's the next gen version. Because this one's pretty pretty specific. Each character gives you a new ability, and you have to learn to use each of those abilities. I yeah. don't know if all of them are like that or not, though. 
Yeah, also being like a lesser known game, it might just stick to more tried and true concepts and just be very, very by the books. You know, I can't imagine it's it, it's too crazy of a, a series, considering I've never even heard of it. I was reading something that says it's even older than Final Fantasy. Really? Yeah. Like, the first East game came out before the first Final Fantasy game came out. Hmm. I mean, I might look into that. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that's kind of what I want right now. Just like with, you know, kind of time becoming more and more sparse, even with my vacation and me like trying to do things on the side with my time off, like it's much harder to just engage with a video game like I used to. Like, I just want more shallow games. I want a game that's not too, too hard to get into. Like an RPG. Like an old RPG, you know. I get what you up. mean. Yeah, like you fight things, you get stronger, you don't have to think about it. Yeah. Uh, I kind of, at, at some point, I kind of crave that too, but at the same point, I, right now, what I'm really missing is a game that really does draw me in. I haven't, the, the Final Fantasy VII Remake drew me in pretty hard, but other than that, there hasn't been much this year that's really been a good game. It was really weird to think about as much of a, a masterpiece as I consider that game. It would be hard to get into right now. Like, like if I played it again, like, if I never played it before and I started now, like, I feel like I would have a harder time enjoying it now than I did before. Yeah. Just because I have less time to play it, I have less time to just grind and, like, delve into it and learn all the mechanics. Like, I think... Like, you don't actually have less time. You're just spending less time on your games. I, I'm you a, have, like, the epitome of all the free time in the world, especially a, right that's now. The, that's the thing is I'm a completionist. If I play a game, I need to I need to see it through. When I played Final Fantasy VII, I didn't just beat it. I didn't just play it, collect all the items, get the achievements, whatever. I had to beat it all on hard mode. Yeah. So when I say I don't have time to play a game, like, I don't have time to commit. I don't have time to, like, go balls deep, which is what I need. I need to just be able to, like, really uh, devote myself to a game in order to actually enjoy it. And yeah, RPG is... You, you, still, you still have that time. Like, what are you doing all weekend long? Um, about three hours of exercise at least. Maybe four or five, depending on how much cardio I'm doing on a day. Okay. That's like not even a quarter of your day. Maybe I'm developing some sort of ADHD with all the work that I've been doing. It's just harder for me to like things. I don't know. I feel like my mind is changing. My I feel that you are overthinking things. Yeah, you still there? I'm still here. Okay. I feel like you're overthinking things. Yeah. Like you're, you're so focused on how much time you have in the day that you're, you're kind of psyching yourself out. Yeah. That's what I think. I might be. Like... Yeah, that might make sense. Because, you know, I'll get home and be like, you know, I have three hours to play a game, maybe four hours if I want to stay up late. But I'm like, I can't even play it for 30 minutes without, you know, worrying about that. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, I think you're psyching yourself out. And you're, you're, you're starting to concern so much with time that you're not even relaxing and enjoying your games. Because, like, like you said, you do five hours of workout tomorrow, right? That gives you literally, with how you sleep, 10, 12 hours to really get into a game and dig in there. That's more than enough time to dig into a game. Hey, yep. he's back. All right, so yeah, the guys got taken off and you guys are waking up. Uh, Do I get any health back after that? No. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> You were the last one in a long rest or in a short rest because you it was your you were the third one to to watch. Yeah. Oof. 
Okay, guys, all is well. Let's carry on with our adventure. Let's. <laughs> By the way, some uh, bloodthirsty tax tax uh, takers might be uh, looking for us on this trail somewhere. I look at him quizzically as me and Demi get ready to mount up on Demon, and I go, uh, were they bloodthirsty, or were you bloodthirsty? Hey, they wanted my money. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> what, could, what would you say if I came out here and took some, uh, 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 let's say a thousand floys from your wallet for these guys. I don't know what they wanted. I just know they want something that wasn't theirs. Well, you wouldn't get a chance to take a thousand floys out of my wallet. That's but what I said to them. You didn't even, did, did you even ask them what they wanted? Or did it's you just principle. start tapping? It's the principle! I shout. You're a principal. <laughs> Well, I'll take that as a compliment. You would. Uh, let us be on our way. Maybe not too foolheartedly this time. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, um, it was a two days travel, so you have one more night along the road. Mm -hmm. I want to rest. Uh, first. I suggest we do the same plan we did last time, seeing as how the uh, Donnie Danger is weakened already, so he should take first break. Um, so I'll take first watch. Debbie and Willow take second watch, and then he'll get third. Okay, I guess I'll take third. It goes to show that the person uh, uh, who who's stubborn and got hurt the most. Ends up getting the benefit from it, I, I suppose. Communism oh, he is hurt the most. Communism. Putting, putting him on first watch would be dumb because then if he got attacked while we're sleeping, he could possibly get wounded and die. Or is it logic? It's definitely logic. I, I just gave you the logic. No, I'm on your side. <laughs> Either way, so I'll take first watch. I'll summon my elemental again to join my watch. Okay. And then I begin. Alrighty. So, yeah, uh, you guys are on the same screen. Nice. 69. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see nothing. It's nice and quiet. Some birds fly or owls fly over your head. I, uh, again, desummoning my elemental before my watch is over, allowing its liquid to flow back into my, my water pouch. I then wake up Demi and Willow and go for my sleep. Okay, you wake them up, they kind of like stir a little bit, and uh, yeah, they wake up, and then okay. they take over. Uh, where's the D100? They see nothing with the 64. <laughs> Nintendo 64. Nice. Alright, Donnie, you wake, they're waking Donnie up. Oof. How do I feel? Did I recover, uh, how much help? Same as last time. Three quarters of max help. Three quarters. Alright. So, yeah, yeah. Um, do you have any funny way of waking them up? Uh, not that I could know of, honestly. My brain's kind of fried right now. If I was Gnome Face, then I'd probably hit him with some sort of spell, but the other two don't have his magic. Uh, you're not trying hard enough, then. Brain. Excuses. 
brain. Killer says you should tickle the feet. <laughs> Killer Drake says you should tickle the feet. Well, I'm not tickling his feet. You tickle his damn feet. No, the the people waking him up. I know. I know what he means, and I'm not touching those honking feet. Yuck. <laughs> Touch your feet. Touch. So do I just wake up? Yeah, they wake you up. All right. All right, I get up. I'd be like, oof. Okay. Why do we always rest at a four-way intersection? It sounds like we're inviting trouble. Anyways. It technically, none of this was four-way intersection. It, this is just a stock map. Oh, okay. Anyways, get some rest, you sleepyheads. All right, they go to sleep, and... I'll take care of things as I always do. Oof. <laughs> you lucked out. It's only a 70. Oh. You see nothing. You see some animals. <laughs> running about, but that's about it. Okay. Yep. Just as I always do, perfectly and without a uh, uh, harmful coincidence. <laughs> Just another light day in the life of Donnie Danger. Nothing to see here. All right. That happens. Uh, it's your, <laughs> your time to wake everyone else up. Okay, bright and early, fellas. Rise and shine. We've got a trail to hit. Yeah. Up, up, and away, fellas. Uh, uh, I do that. All right. I do that, and then I start moving around and getting up. See? Nothing happened. Perfect. I kind of just give him the stink eye, but then I start packing up camp and then getting ready to mount up on Demon. <laughs> All right, you All did right. that. So it's nice and early in the morning. Are you guys ready to head out? Yep. yep. All right. You're like, oh, it should only be a little farther forward. Let's uh, let's see what what's up ahead of here. All right, we should be coming up on Ashbourne soon. Is that Mufasa's capital? Yes. Okay. So you guys are going a ways. And you see, like, the air gets a little thicker. Like, dirty. And you smell, like, a almost like stale smoke. And if... Do you guys say anything or? Okay, hold on. You so don't we're getting see anything. Away. You just smell like stale smoke. Um, can we tell? You said it's stale, so we know that it's not like currently on fire. Yeah. Um, I uh, spurred Demon to move on a little faster. Not much, just like a, a trot instead of a walk. And see what I can see over the cliff or the rise or whatever's in my way. Okay. Uh, but no conversing between you guys? What? Okay. Uh, with the smell of smoke, I don't stop to talk. I just kind of move into action. Like, I, I, I'm just a little bit flabbergasted, too. I guess Gnome Face is really just hot on the trail. Does, does it sound like buildings burning? I mean, like, Willow, what does it smell like? doesn't smell like normal smoke, does it? I'm trying to roll a perception check as well as I converse. A seven. You notice it's smoky in the air. Hmm. Uh, Will's Something. like, uh, I don't know, but I think Gnome Face is the right idea. Hmm. Okay. Let's head forward. Alright, so you guys come up you guys keep going along the trail uh, or the path, and uh, what comes into sight is a Get dark, out of decrepit. Because then it's going to be in the way somewhere else. It, it like a 
darkness, like, where a city should be. Like, you see some little smoke going up in the air. The smoke smell gets a little thicker or a little more potent. And it almost looks like ruins are in front of you. It's really dark and black. Can we see... Do we see, like, shapes moving, like, people trying to get their stuff from burnt-out buildings, or is it, like, barren, like, nothing's going on down there, everything's just kind of ashen? The second, more towards the second one. More towards, like, barren? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, um, Ashbourne. We just arrived at Ashbourne? Well, we don't know if it's Ashbourne or not. But, um... I stop, um, I stop and, um, wait for everybody to catch up, and I, I look to Debbie, who is a local from, from Brockhart, and I go, uh, do you know if this is King Mufasa City? Is this Ashburn? Uh, there is, uh, yeah, the... This is the way that the prince told us. Like, it should be after Winterfell. It should be the next city we come across. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't look recent. There's no people. There's nobody salvaging anything. This looks like something that happened a while ago. There's no sound coming up from it either. What? I didn't hear you. Richard. There's no sound coming up to it either. Yeah, true. Yes, push. Bring it back into the living room. Um Yeah, so I think this is um this is something that happened a while ago. And we've only been on the road for four days, so I don't think it I think it happened before that army even attacked. Maybe they were sent out just before whatever happened, well, happened? I'm wondering if maybe this was a setup, and if maybe somebody somebody else sent that army and is blaming Mufasa. Like, was it somebody in the royal family, or did we get played? Well, no, in face, this is a lot of conjecture, and this is a lot of ruin. I'm sure we can stand a benefit from looking about for a a moment, at least. There has to be something here. Some clue. I agree. We should definitely look around. And see if we can figure out what happened here. Yes. Let us do that. Hopefully we'll find some indication as to what actually happened. You want to proceed to the town? Yep. The city? Okay. So, yeah, you guys are looking down the hill... And you guys have a. Uh, uh, you see the city of Ashbourne in the distance. Well, it looks like somebody did our job for us. Maybe we should just report back to the prince and tell him you know, <laughs> the enemy city's, you know, crumbled. I look at him skeptically and I'm like, no, 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 no. Something happened here. And either we're being set up or we need to figure out what happened and stop it from happening to our city. Set Either up. way, we need to know. Well, I'm not concerned about us being set up, considering this is kind of what we set out to do. Well, I'm concerned that we're being set up because maybe we were sent to kill somebody who was already dead. Huh. Well, whatever. Um... <clears throat> Whatever the case is, there's more here than meets the eye, I'm sure. Mayhap we should investigate. Uh, do, do we see the castle anywhere in view? Uh, I mean, yeah, it doesn't necessarily look like that nice of a castle, but you see something that might resemble what used to be a castle. Well, if there's a clue here, I feel like it would probably be there. No, uh, I actually agree, and I think we should check the castle first and see what we can find. Let's be on our way to the castle, then. Alright. 
Good for Shima, Percy, and Thomas. Alright, so you guys head on. Uh, Killer says ambush in. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys. Like, head... $20 dollars worth of tokens. Hmm? I told him that $20 worth of tokens. Just to get us ambushed. You have to pay 20 bucks worth of tokens. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you guys head on down and you approach the city of Ashbourne. So let's take you there. Um, let's bring you guys in. So it looks kind of nice, but it, it's all, picture it all dark and burned and can you see anything? All black. Burned and can we see anything? Well, can you see No, anything? I see black. Okay, the fog. All is black. Um, where's Willow? Okay. I can't remember if the fog of war was on or not. It is. I think I just got used to defaultly putting it on. That's what I've been doing on my campaign, just putting it on, then opening it up wherever you guys appear on screen. Mm -hmm. Alright. You, you, you approach, you, you come to it, and you approach the, whoa, a gate of sorts. Alright. I mean, it looks like a gate. It's just not a very useful one anymore. It's so all black anything. and burned. Oh, there so we go. We're making our way towards the castle then, which I'm assuming we see off in the distance. Which is approximately 20 yards from where we stand, according <laughs> to that chart. Is that the castle? I look at Doofus and I go, March, meat shield. Alrighty. Wait. Is it Doofus or meat shield? It's whatever the hell I feel like. That's what. Well, giddy up, Buttercup. Yeah, I call you Buttercup from now on. Alright, so here's the city. Um, You guys just you know, stroll right in since there's no guards or anything. It looks barren. You don't see anyone in sight. Um, this is actually a really some, cool looking city. You hear some animals. Hey, get back! <laughs> You're at the gate here. <laughs> I'm in danger doing stupid things again. I'm talking, and he's like marching his way through the city. And I'm like, um, hello? I'm trying to set the scene here. And that's when the ambush is actually happening and we all die. <laughs> that that's what made you spawn in the um the the ghast. Like four dead guys. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so th this place looks th there's some structures that are still standing, mostly made out of stone, but for the most part all wood that has been in this town is either burned, is ash, or it's very charred. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Do we see a castle anywhere? You see... Well, there's this nice little... Legend up here. This is the palace over here. One. Oh, wow! By convenience! It's right there! Oh, Not too far you the... alter the map legend? So now how the hell did you alter the map legend? I didn't. I just... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were like super cool computer dude for a second there. <laughs> if I actually had Photoshop, I would have. Okay. So number one is the Palace of Mufasa. Okay. okay uh, I suggest we move slowly and with caution. Um. I also kind of want to look into any of the stone buildings we pass by to see if there's any, like, corpses or signs of conflict or any way thing I can tell what maybe happened here. Uh, yeah, okay. You guys start walking down, and you see a couple... You, you peer in a couple different buildings, and, like, I want to say a quarter of them, 
you see some like dead bodies, some bones of people like burned alive that got trapped type of thing. Okay. Oh. This is a very flammable city, it seems. Well, humans are usually a pretty flammable substance. Oh, you just meant the city in general. All right. So it seems like there's nothing uh, of interest out in the, all these, you know, burned structures that you found yet. Let's just hightail towards that castle. All right. I follow along the meat shield. Uh, I mean, you guys are walking for a little bit. I mean, you do hear uh, some disturbance a little, a little ways. Towards the castle or away from? Just like down the alleyway, like you don't know if it's an animal or something scurrying past, but like you, you hear some rustling in the distance. He I, did. Can I take a look and see if I can actually make out any sort of tracks or if I get a chance to see possibly the animal itself? Uh, I mean, so you look down the alleyway and you see a... Uh... Okay, yeah, 17. You see a person-shaped shadow, like, running between the buildings. A person shape shadow. Okay, I stop the group and I go. I don't make a big ruckus. I just tell the doofus to stop, and I I talk to. I bring everybody together and I go. So I saw a person. Don't freak out, doofus. Don't freak want, out. Yeah, you don't freak out. I want to try to possibly see if we can. Um, follow his tracks in this ash. It shouldn't be too hard. Well, let me just calmly unsheath my sword and charge towards them. That is the opposite of what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, you do you, no face. I, I suggest that Willow take the front and see if she can follow the tracks. Any survivor may be able to give us hints to what we may or may not be walking into. All right. Willow? Pose? You are the best suited to this. All right. What does Will have to do? Like a, a sneak check, a tracking check? Like what would that even be? A track with um wisdom. Not for that. It is. Let's see. Uh, what's the mod for Willow's Wisdom? Uh, plus four, we'll say. <laughs> okay. She's high. She's a high agility, high wisdom. Cause, yeah. Twenty three. She starts tracking. All right. She. She follows the. Follows the person. The. the she tracks them over here, and they go over here. She knows they went over there? I, okay, I'm assuming she's leading us that way, then. Unless, do I need to roll again? Uh, you, you catch up to the person over here, because they stop and start to look around. Okay, so, so, so we know where they are. Should we sneak up on them? Like, we know where they are. Like, what's the plan? Well, I'd say we don't sneak, because that's going to make us look suspicious. But we approach cautiously. Um, hands out. No aggression. Get our attentions, clearly. Uh, maybe uh, you, you should start note phase. I'm sure you're more diplomatically minded than any of us here. You're just saying that because you don't want to have to think of what to say. <laughs> I'd probably say something rude and offensive. I approach. Um, the, the, the I, I like you said, heads out. I, I state my uh, name very clearly. Uh, we're adventurers. Uh, we were on our way to see this great kingdom, but all we found is ash. Can you... 
Can you tell us what happened here? Uh, I state that all loudly and clearly so he can hear me. The, the person goes like, wait, wait, you don't know? And he looks like taking a back oh, seat and not going to see anyone. No clue. Uh, he goes, oh, uh, this the city burned like two days ago, three days ago. Like spontaneously? Oh no 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 no! There there was a there was some fight. Uh, there was uh, yeah, just a fight between the king when the king got back. A fight between the king and either his guards or his civilians. Uh, which so, were you, guard or civilian? Oh, I'm not from around here. So it was a coup. Of sorts. Some sort of uprising? Uh, sure. Do we why, the whole, why the whole kingdom, though? Uh, dude, I told you, I'm not from around here. I don't know. Oh. I'm just here to loot. Oh. Did you find anything good? <laughs> so far, some money. Um, I have a stash. I found some, like, gear, but I'm trying to find the good stuff, you know? Okay, so it's still out there. Before anything else, I go, have you explored the the castle yet? Uh, have you seen anything in that area? Yeah, Killer, he, he's a grave robber, if you could say. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so he, he goes, uh, no, um, I had words that the king was still here, so I didn't want to approach the castle or the palace. The, the king, oh. which means he's got amazing fire powers, which is going to suck. Which also thank you for your info. What? I said thank you for your info. Oh. You're welcome. Many thanks. Um, I'm gonna um, go back to looting now. Oh, I do have one question, sir. And do you know? Um, do you have any information as to highwaymen in the vicinity and how large their group might be? In uh, which direction? South. Oh, um, yeah. There, there's um, there, there's a tribe. So like, and he starts to describe that the king hasn't been too uh, helpful to his people. And so a lot of, uh, there's all these different, he doesn't want to say gangs, because they're, they're actually groups that are made up of people who live in the area type of thing, who actually, they create their own, like, way of preserving and keeping the, the area going. So they help each other out, and they monitor what's going on. So a community of gangs. Yeah, they're not trying to, yeah, uh, tribes, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, different little tribes that have popped up on the outside of the, cat, the palace because the king kind of, like, took them over and he, like, asked them for money since they live in his kingdom. But he doesn't really help them much. Okay, so it sounds like this king's about not as great. As a uh, well, let's just say he's not turning out to be too surprising from what I, we're hearing. It came out awkwardly. Uh, yeah, no. uh, I'm confused on what you're trying to say, but sounds about as bad as I expected him to be. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, we may be going with your murder hobo tactics. Have fun with your looting, sir. Uh, I turn around and head away. It's not murder, hobo, if we have a house and it's uh, killing righteously. <laughs> Kill murder, hobo. <laughs> um, yeah, so and you have anything else to say to this person? Nope. Good looting, sir. Why, thank you. Uh, I will hopefully never see you again. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I just chuckle. 
All right. So what are you guys doing now? Well, I guess our mission's not over. Did this guy did seriously burn down his whole kingdom? Yeah, it's straight to the castle then. So it's the one, right? Or do you say it was a 17? One. All right. No, it's right across the street. Hi-ho, cheerio. We march across the street, we go. The castle's right in sight. Should we prepare for a fight? Wow. How long did it take you to do that one? <laughs> that was all on the spot. <laughs> I mean, it's right there. <laughs> we just bust in? No, I wouldn't say bust. I would say walk... Cautiously, the guy did burn down an entire town. Yeah, I suppose it's a bit more intimidating than three civilians in a street fight. The, well, yeah, and you got your ass kicked by them. It... Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. By the way, guys, Killer's making some great points. He's saying, go fight the king in an epic battle of glory. <laughs> I like that one. Much... Donnie Danger's only style is Epic Battles of Glory, which is why Gnome Face has to be the side of reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys approach the palace. The door is broken. Like, it has its own, like, gate and whatever. It's That's broken. It's non-existent. And you see, like, the little... You, you see, like, the... The inside isn't as terrible, but it's still burned and charred, and it just looks bad. Ooh, I do a He-Man flex, and I say, ah, he's making this easy for us. The path is clear. A face palm. <laughs> March forward, I do. Lest there be any objections from you. No. no? March forward. Forward march. I swear to God, if you get us blowing up. <laughs> uh, I mean, no perceptions, by the way. I swear to God, if you just got us blowing up. <laughs> 16 for Gnome Face, 10 for Demi. Okay. 11 and 14. So, Gnome Face and Willow, you guys are actually walking through, and you're like, you actually take a second to, like, notice at how, like, elegant this palace would have been without all the char and soot everywhere. Like, you guys are walking, you're like, wow, this actually is a really, really nice palace. Like, to to be shame, it's covered in soot. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, you guys keep walking. And then you yeah, end up getting to the throne room. As we enter, before we go any farther, as we enter, I want to try to um, sense for any magical energies in the air. Uh, like, anything specifically pointing towards danger or, like, magic repositories. So, like, a source of magic. Unnatural 20. Huh? Like a source of magic? Yeah. Um, okay, so unnatural twenty. You uh mm -hmm. you sense that there's some magic coming from the throne room. Nowhere else? Uh no, not really anywhere else. Okay. So I tell the group, like, well, there's magic emanating from the throne room. I'm guessing it's gonna be King Fuckface. Um let's not charge in there like a bunch of idiots. I say pointedly looking at Donnie Danger. Final, uh, and instead, think about, you know, formation and the good chance that we're probably going to get blown up upon entry. Okay, formation, formation. Hmm, I'll be at the front. Yeah, uh, I think you should be at the front. Willow shouldn't be directly behind you, but behind you and to the right or left. I'll take the other side, and Demi should be at least... 10 feet behind us, ready to heal, but nowhere near if there's a blast radius. All right. I'll enter with my defensive posture up. Don't know if that does anything for me yet, but I'll just walk in at the ready to get attacked. Guys, 
Really? That's what you guys want to do? Well, what, are we supposed to knock and announce ourselves? I mean, yeah. maybe we should give him a chance to monologue first. Well, I'm not saying we go in guns a-blazing. I'm just saying we go in ready. I mean, I kind of want to hear his villain spiel. At the very yeah, least. I'm not, I'm not saying we attack the dude immediately. I'm just saying we go in with the thought process of he may attack us immediately. Huh. Yeah, that's true. He might not be a monologuer. He may in not. In case, he's not. lost a lot of my respect. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So I just I'm just suggesting we go in in a formation that covers our bases, but we don't go in and try to punch him in the face. Okay, I'm a little excited. I really hope he has a cool villain speech. Well, we'll find out. Let us go. All right, in we go. I activate my defensive posture and walk in cautiously, shield up and at the ready. In formation. All right, you guys push open the door very. Kind of bruntly, push it in, and you guys start walking in. And here, this is what you see. Wow. Um, we enter the Riddler's chip lair. <laughs> why does everything have to be stolen from somewhere else with you? <laughs> hey, that's Kenny who always does that. No, that's you. You and your copyright. Why can't I move my character? Yeah. Why can't I move any characters? I can't move anybody. What did you Normally, do? I can move everybody. I didn't do nothing. Okay, Dragon, your own character. Do you have the map? I can't, I can't do anybody. anything either. Dragon, your own character, then. Is your map on the foreground or the background? Oh, well, hang on. No, the map's on the background. I... Now we're in object and tokens. There we go. Yeah, here we're good. I can move these tokens. I'm still on background. Okay. Can you so. just stay in formation, Donnie, and not move willy-nilly? I will delete you from this map. I had to put myself forward so Willow could be behind me and to the left. Or, I mean, the right. No, you she couldn't be behind me and to the right if I was on the same plane as her. Hey, Demi's in the back. Yeah, she's in the back. Like, back here, back. Well, then she'd be That's out why there. I moved myself so far forward. Well, she's not... Uh, that's what, The whole point is she's supposed to stay two squares behind us just in case of an AoE. So she'll that's enter why I went so far okay, forward. Then move farther up in the room, then. I'm just placing you guys... What do you think I was here. doing? <laughs> I'm just placing you guys on here because you guys didn't place yourself on here right away. Oh, oh boy! Give me a chance before you started putting on tokens I couldn't move. Oh boy! Not my problem. That's entirely your problem. I was right all along. Okay, so we're here. Yes, you're you're at the entrance of the throne room, and you see someone sitting on what looks to be the throne of the throne room, way up ahead. But it, it's going to take you a minute to walk there, because it's a throne room. Does he look like he sees us? Uh, you can't really tell. I guess we should walk forward. Okay, march. Boom. All right, everyone. This session is going to end here. The group are in the palace making their way to King Mufasa. How is the conversation going to go? Is Gnomeface going to allow Donnie to kill him? Are we going to resolve the differences between Mufasa and his brother? Find out when we return on the Guild of Brockhart.